Inside this video right here, we're gonna talk about exactly what EMTs and paramedics get paid. Let's dive into it. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that. Next step is for you to smash, to annihilate, to destroy that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Now, let's dive into today's video, pay an EMS. Now, I'm gonna flash across the screen as I'm talking about pay an EMS a ton. It's gonna be all over the screen. I'm gonna flash real life examples I just took before shooting this video, screenshots of jobs that are available right now. So first off, there's three different levels in the ambulance. Obviously, based on the level and based on a few other factors, your pay gets determined. Now, when we're working in EMS, there's a variety of places that we can work. But let's start with the ambulance service. There's three, okay, if you're writing this down, there's three main types of places you're gonna work on an ambulance service. It could be a, a county service, like think of a government service a hospital-based service, or a private ambulance service, like a corporation, a business, okay? So what I can tell you, for the most part, is what I found is usually the government services have the best benefits. Also, hospitals usually have great benefits. The private services are usually a great place, not hating on them, just telling the facts here, usually a great place to gain experience and then you want to go into either some sort of government or some sort of hospital-based system because usually, not a rule, but usually the pay in these government services or um, hospital-based services usually have higher salaries and better benefits. Now before I get into the actual numbers, I want to give you my tip, my career advice because I've done it before, okay, and I want to help you do it too. Now look, check me out on this. What I recommend to you, my friends, is very simple. If you either do not like where you're working right now in EMS, or you are looking for higher pay in EMS, it's okay to move, my friends. It's okay to move. Don't stay in a negative environment or a place that you are not comfortable in. So if your morale is low in EMS, whether it's due to pay, whether it's due to the employer, whatever it is, my friends, don't make an excuse. Move. Move. There are employers out there right now that would love your skills as an EMT, advanced EMT, or paramedic, and will pay you more money for that and give you better benefits for that as well, and maybe even more opportunity. So before we get into the numbers here, I need to lay that out here, okay? Because I don't want you thinking, oh, you know, every EMT makes $10 an hour. That's not true. That's not true, okay? Now, what I'm telling you is if you're in an area where that is all there is, I recommend that you move if you're really devoted to this career. Now, an EMT, usually, depending on the area, could make as low as $10 an hour. Yes, it's true, okay? But guess what? I've seen areas, okay, in the Northeast, for example, EMTs make... $23, $25 an hour. It sounds, it sounds wow to some people. I, I, I hear you. It's true, okay? So this is like the top, top, top. Again, it's all based on my research and my own experience, okay? So I'm gonna put $23 an hour because that's what, that's what I saw with my own two eyes, okay? So I've heard and seen $10 an hour, okay? And I've seen my own two eyes, $23 an hour, okay? Now, the advanced EMT, essentially, basically, okay, 
it's going to usually make anywhere from two to four dollars more an hour than it, than the EMT is going to. Okay, so what we're going to do is is just basically move this up by about two to four dollars an hour. Okay, is the advanced EMT. Now, what I'm going to share with you inside this video is actually what a paramedic makes working in the three main sectors, government, county, hospital based, private ambulance service. I'm not here to attack anybody. I'm not here to say anything bad about anybody, but here's what I am saying. And what my core belief is this, my core belief is if you're going to be an EMS for the long term, I highly recommend that you get as much education as you can to maximize the amount of money that you get paid, number one, but number two, so that you're gonna be in for the long term, why not go up the ranks? This is what I believe. When I first started off in EMS, I didn't really mess around. I went from EMT and said, I know I wanna be a paramedic, and I went right up to paramedic. Now, it's not for everybody, and that's okay, but I'm giving you my own personal opinion and my own advice here. head towards the paramedic role. One, which is a video about pay, okay? You're gonna get paid more, number one. Number two, more types of jobs open up for you, okay? You're not stuck, okay? You have more options available to you, okay? Now, as a paramedic, there's places in the United States you can make eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 a year. It is 100% possible in some areas. Obviously, the cost of living goes according to that, okay? We all understand that now. Now, what I can tell you as a real deal basic thing is most paramedics are going to make anywhere between $20 and $25 an hour. If, if you were to ask me, Evan, what's the, the real deal, the average? I'd say about $20 to $25 an hour. And if you wanted to bridge it out and make it a little more, I would even say $18 to $25 an hour if you want to stretch it. $18 to $25 would be very, very fair. Now, with that being said, you're going to see on the screen here jobs where they're making $25 to $30 an hour. Okay? You're going to see salaries here of over $70,000 a year to work as a paramedic. And also, don't forget, money's one thing, benefits are another thing as well. And also, don't forget something very important. What does your lifestyle look like during work and outside of work as well? So how good is the equipment? Do you like the people you work with? All these things, right, have to do with not just pay, just overall, how do, are you enjoying what you're doing? Think about it. Obviously, if you are in fire EMS, not only if you're certified as a fire as a fireman, you also have your paramedic. Well, now you have two different things going on. That's pretty cool. Now, critical care skills and flight paramedic skills, guys, there's not that many flight paramedics and critical care paramedics out there. Now, my friends, when I did my research on flight companies, I basically saw around $20 to $30 an hour uh, to be a flight or critical care paramedic, is basically what I saw. Now, can I tell you something that no one talks about? This is a bonus that I want to talk to you about, is working for the government in, uh, for example, you can actually work as a paramedic uh, in the Department of Corrections, Department of Justice. Uh, I'll show a screenshot of that here. Um, you can also work 
uh, as a paramedic in a doctor's office, in a lab, in a clinical trial. And these companies, be honest with you, my friends, have a lot of money to throw around. So they're going to pay you a little more to get that advanced life support provider at their clinical trial, at their lab, on standby in case someone needs, you know, in case someone needs that care. Okay. So what I always talk about in anything I do in life is always go the extra step. So if you are brand new watching this video and you're like, I want to be a first responder, what should I do? I would tell you to get experience as an EMT working for a private ambulance service while going to paramedic school. And I would work my way up, I would get my paramedic, and then I would blast off some of these options that sound good to you. Or the laboratory option, or the, uh, the government option, or hey, we, we even talked about a military option. That's something you want to do as well, the military option as well. I got a link in the description for you. It's my prepare for EMS course. Now what it is, it helps you in three ways, the student prepare during school and studying for your state or national registry boards, okay? Your testing, your exam, what makes you a provider. Now, click the link down below to get access to my entire video vault, my best content, my entire video library down below. Hope you enjoy uh, the studio here on YouTube and I'll see you, click the link in the description down below to get access to that and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cap Oh, like everything that you were saying was just connecting all these, all these, you know, links inside my brain. And I, I just knew right then and there, um, I have to have this program. I have to have all the information that he's willing to give. I need all of it. I went through it. I, I spent the time and money in other areas. And I'm, I'm just going to let you guys know that uh, this was everything I was searching for the whole time. The first couple of videos I watched, um, when I noticed it, it just, I, I just immediately started connecting dots um, on some of these things I, I didn't have grasped. Went on there, then I continued reviewing, and I did it for about a month, and you know, it, it helped a lot. Like I said, even after school, and I took that test one time, and I passed it. Your particular program, you have your students engaging, and you have your students discussing, and you have your students actually using your products. And I'm seeing time and time again, um, students that are coming in and announcing their new certification with National Registry. Results, obviously passing the exam, doing it pretty quickly, 70 questions in about an hour. Um, well, you definitely are like how your videos are. Like, I wasn't sure how it was going to be, but you are how you, your videos are. So that was awesome. So people who are getting ready for paramedic school, or if you're getting ready to go in the Navy as a corpsman or as an army medic, um, you gotta prepare yourself. Evan, I know you've got a program that helps people prepare that way. So bottom line is guys, you don't ever wanna hear something for the first time with a bunch of other students. So if you're in a competitive learning environment, you don't wanna hear about AFib for the first time where everybody else, you wanna have an understanding of it before you walk in the room. From 120 questions, passing two sections, um, near passing one, and then I think two below passing, two seven questions passing completely. $7,000 for school plus everything else that you put into it all the time and all the time off work and family and everything. It's to see people fail and fail and fail and then just quit, which I know a couple of people who have. I tend to say, you know, it doesn't hurt to have somebody right there to talk to, you know, send a question. Anytime I get the chance, I, I will gladly offer or advise them to sign up for you and your paramedic coach. It's, it's truly helpful and amazing at what you do. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that, and I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that.